Welcome to Take 5. Here is your host, Dr. Driver. Welcome to Take 5. I'm your host, Dr. Driver. Thank you, my friends, for tuning in and watching us on our media network. If you're watching us on YouTube or Rumble, uh, please hit subscribe and notification. That'd be awesome if you can do that. Uh, but let us know, you know, when you uh, hit subscribe and notify uh, by sending a comment on how much you appreciate our ministry. You can watch us on Galilee TV, G-A-L-A-L-E-E TV on Roku. Just download that app, Galilee TV app. And you can watch classic television, and you can watch us on video on demand on Sharing the Word and Take 5. So thank you. Please visit our website at tldmevangelisticmedianetwork.com or follow us on our other website called take5messages.tv. You know, I was looking at just recently just the amount of, I would say, lack of, I should say, the lack of common sense people have. Uh, I preached a sermon on, you know, wisdom keys. I preached a sermon on surrounding yourself with people who have uh, wisdom or even the word common sense. You know, that sign that says common sense is allowed, and it really is. And I've always wondered why there are people today who can't even critically think out of a bag. <laughs> They're just... So many people, even Christians, that don't have the mind of Christ, that don't have that critical thought process. And when I read the Bible, and I look at how many scripture verses uh, refer to wisdom, I look at how many times God said that wisdom will get you through all your troubles. You know, the earth was founded on wisdom, uh, you know. The fear of the Lord gives us wisdom. I can go on. Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. And I, I don't see a lot of people with wisdom or common sense. So today, I'm going to share a little bit how wisdom or common sense can help you be at peace and get you through the ter terrible times that we're in. You know, I asked a, a colleague of mine just recently. I said, hey, brother, I said, let me ask you a question. How would you handle this problem? He just looked at me with a blank stare and said, I don't know. Well, common sense says <laughs> you would do it this way. You ever been around people where you go, common sense will dictate or tell you how to do things? They lack it. I think that's a curse somehow. I just think that's just the enemy affecting the brain. But common sense says you don't put your hand over an open flame. Uh, you know, you don't stand in the middle of a highway in rush hour traffic. Common sense will dictate that. I, I hope you understand where I'm going with this. But wisdom, God's wisdom, can solve some problems that common sense doesn't even see. Wisdom, heavenly wisdom, can get you through all your trials. And you, you'll be able to sleep at night. So in Proverbs chapter 3, Looking at verse 21. This is why I love reading the word. And I love to still have in my Bible with me. It says, my son, let them not depart from your eyes. And he's talking about wisdom. And he says, that's verse 21 of Proverbs 3. Keep sound wisdom and discretion. So they will be life to your soul and grace to your neck. Then you will walk safely in your way. And your foot will not stumble. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. You see, my friends, it's not just about common sense. Oh, that is great. It's asking God for wisdom. Have you ever really sat down and said, Lord, give me wisdom, fill me with the wisdom? I'm telling you, you'd be able to sleep at night if you ask God. And he says, according to the Bible, uh, even James, he, he'll give you wisdom if you just ask for it without any problems. Just ask God for wisdom. If you lack it, just ask God for wisdom, it's, it's literally a step above, more than a step above. It's higher than common sense. You, 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 won't, you won't feel uh, stumped if somebody asks you, how would you do this? How would you handle this? Wisdom will flow from your mouth. I hope it will. 
uh, I have a lot of people around me that say, hey, man, I'm calling you because I know you have wisdom. <laughs> you can have wisdom, too, if you just ask God. But I love wisdom. I love his word. Uh, I love reading a proverb a day. It does keep the devil away. I love reading his word. I love reading Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, one of my favorite books. It seems like these wisdom key books are my favorites. Uh, they really are. They're my favorites. And, and you just got to say, Lord, I love your word. And I want your word inside me so that I can address the, um, uh, let's use the word idiocy, the, the craziness, the, the stupidity, the uh, whatever word you want to put into the axiom of whatever's out there. But fill me, Lord God, with wisdom. I just need some wisdom today to manage my day at work. I need wisdom today to manage my household. I need wisdom today to even drive on the freeway or uh, just drive around town. I need wisdom to handle the problems I'm dealing with my family. Lord God, I need your wisdom. And it says right here one more time. It says, my son, let them, wisdom, not depart from your eyes. Keep your sound wisdom and discretion. So they will be life to your soul and grace to your neck. Then you will walk safely in your way and your foot will not stumble. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. My friend Solomon asked for wisdom because he was now appointed king. And he was a young man. He wasn't a boy. He was a, he was a young man. And he said, this is a great nation. I, I know how this nation came to be. This was his thoughts and the prayer and the dream and the vision that he had. Lord, just fill me with wisdom so I can lead your people. Ask God to fill you with wisdom, to lead your family, to lead your business, to lead your community, to, to be able to respond when everybody around you lacks common sense. Just ask God for wisdom, and it will be safety to you and to those around you. And it be around your neck so that you don't have to worry about whatever's going on Wisdom's all around you. It's wrapped you. It's, 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 it's on you. It, it speaks through you. And people will feel safe. And you will be at peace when you lay down as well. My friends, I hope this encouraging word is for you. May God bless you. Join me again on another episode of Take 5. Mm-hmm.